Former Drain is a no-dig uh, pipe repair system. It's a steam-cured fiberglass and epoxy system pulled in place. Uh, it's been steam-cured since 94, so it was designed that way from the start. The preparation starts with uh, laying the bladder down on either a table or on the floor. Uh, that bladder is going to be wrapped in a polyethylene layer so that uh, the epoxy doesn't stick on the bladder because it is reusable. Once that is wrapped, we're going to mark our measurements on the bladder and uh, just lie down the fiberglass layer by layer, and uh, which is usually a two-layer uh, repair. So layer by layer, we're going to lay this down and then wet out. This means we put the epoxy over the fiberglass. Every single fiber has to be covered. Uh, the amount of resin uh, that's going to be put uh, on this fiberglass is precisely calculated and we can find that information in the installation manual. So every single pipe size, every length, you're going to know exactly uh, how much epoxy to weigh and you have to spread the whole thing on the fiberglass. Once that fiberglass is rolled uh, over the bladder, we're going to roll it into another polyethylene layer that's going to make it uh, more watertight once the repair is in, and that's going to prevent the resin from going into cracks. So once that is wrapped, uh, we're going to U-fold it to make it smaller. So you fold it and you tape it like about every foot, and then it's reeled on a big reel that is supplied with the equipment and taken to the job site. Once we get on site, uh, since it's a pulled in place process, uh, we're going to need to string a line from the upstream access to a downstream access. Uh, in a residential uh, case, it's usually a clean out upstream at a manhole, a municipal manhole downstream. When the line is strung, we're going to pull back the winch from the manhole to the clean out. This way, we've got a link between uh, the insertion point, which will be the clean out, and the pulling point, which will be the manhole in the street. Once that line is strong, we're gonna basically just attach the bladder uh, with an eyelet that was designed, that's already on the cap. We're gonna attach it and then uh, the operator uh, outside at the manhole will pull that repair in. Uh, the measurements were important. When we wrap the bladder, we put the measurements, we have a stop mark. So we know exactly where to stop pulling the bladder. This way we know what's in place. We know the repair is where it belongs. Once it's in place, all you have to do is uh, bring the hoses in from the trailer, set it up outside for, uh, for the steam intake and the uh, air intake, and then uh, basically attach it to the bladder and inflate it. And we inflate with straight steam, so we don't put air. Air is going to be there as a backup and for cool down once the cure is done. We're going to inflate the bladder with straight steam. And when that steam is in, it's gonna, the pressure of the bladder is going to make the repair conform to the old pipe, and the heat is going to make the resin cure and harden to make a perfectly uh, cured and perfectly solid repair each time, every time. Since the fiberglass is laid flat, once you roll it over the bladder, it's not a tube, so it can conform to different shapes and sizes. So we can usually go from one upsize, let's say uh, four inches to six inch, we can do the transition perfectly without knowing where it is down the line because uh, it, it will conform. Since it's like a newspaper, like a rolled newspaper, it's gonna open up, which the tube can't do. You gotta stitch, you gotta make sure you know where it is and position it. Um, our repair is gonna conform to that. So when you've got a little offset joint or a much more offset joint, that's going to help as well because uh, it, the, the repair doesn't have a predetermined shape or a predetermined size. When we inflate with steam, 
we got a cure for approximately 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the size and the length. Once the liner is cured, uh, the operator at the, at the winch, at the manhole, will break the seal between the, uh, the plastic, the, protect, the protective polyethylene sheet and uh, the repair, the, the actual epoxy. When it's broken, he's gonna crank it up, all the way up to get the bladder out. And once the bladder out, he reels it over the rail and puts it back in the trailer. Then all that's left uh, at that point is to pack up the things, video the final inspection, then we take the camera out, shut the clean out, and leave.